And so you were managing this unthinkable grief and then you decided I'm going to start this nonprofit organization. I mean, in that moment, did you know that's where it was headed or did you know that's what you were going to do? Because there's a lot of ways to galvanize, right? I mean, when did that yeah. organization begin in relation to the that moment you gave that speech? I think it began pretty quickly after I was asked to speak at someone else's event, um, just like a mom that was moved by pediatric cancer, had never personally been touched. And she asked me to speak and I loved what she did. And I said, hey, listen, what if we join efforts? What if you kind of come, I'll create a board, you jump on our board and we'll take this event and we'll bring it to other cities and other towns. And that was probably the birth of it. We at that time didn't even really have a name for the organization. Um, I had a symbol because I'm not very artistic and I drew kind of like a cancer ribbon when I was probably talking on the phone to my husband one night as we were staying at the hospital and he was at home with the little kids um, and had a tail coming off of it. And that was the start of it. I went, oh, that, that's it. That's what I want to do. I want to start with the hardest to cure cancers and pull that and unravel all cancer. So that idea of unraveling uh, the thread was where it all started and joined up forces with this other woman um, and kind of absorbed what she had started, the event she did in her town and took off from there. 